time. You look like sex on a stick tonight. I feel like Cher on a stick. Well, you are. I feel very much like Cher in the Turn Back Time video, I'll have to say. Minus the footwear. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I don't think she wore Y3 size 11s. A long, <laughs> a long standing dream of mine, folks. You and every gay man on the planet. <laughs> How's everybody feeling tonight? You feeling good? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was disappointing. is what I need, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we are so happy to be here, back in London, our second home. It truly is. We've had many, many fun experiences, lots of hijinks in London. I will never forget our, when, when the record company put us up in, a, in an apartment uh, right near Madame Tussauds. And we told the press that we had a mad party with drag queens and crazy people and they printed it and so we thought well we should actually have a party so we had lots of crazy drag queens and freaks and fun people come and i will never forget i ended the night reciting lines from john waters films drunk in the kitchen with pete burns <laughs> definitely a highlight of my life i got laid that evening as well i think oh you did oh the fuck sh in the fuck shop yep. yes a tiny little crawl space that we, we call had a crawl the space shop. upstairs that we would all not together, mind you. Oh no, we're not Fleetwood Mac yet. <laughs> but we're so happy to be here. London is is a, a, an amazing, amazing city that drives us crazy because we never know where we're going. And as New Yorkers, that is very, very stressful. But. Uh, England in general has been so very kind to us. It was the place that got us first, the place that got us best. And it's a place we've definitely taken to our hearts. I never call it soccer anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It's only football. And I like to start my mornings with a cup of Tetley tea. That's right. Steeped for three to five minutes. Otherwise, it's Nat's piss. that I love, spannered, trolleyed, and definitely four words that I believe should be taken into American jargon immediately. The first one is loo, just because going to the bathroom sounds stupid. Where's Much your, better than bathroom. Well, if I'm going to, the, it's, I don't need to take a bath. I need to take something else. <laughs> Second one, knackered. We have nothing like that in America. I am absolutely knackered. It's just so good and it's fun to say. Three, gurning. We have absolutely no term for that and man, is that a really helpful term. Look at that gurning face over there in the corner. Wow, what do you think he's on? And the fourth one, and I really love it, minging. Look at that minger, or woo, almost splashed my minge. It's a great term, absolutely fabulous. And, uh, and so I'm advocating, and I, I will be your personal Lou Knackered Gurning Mingin emissary in the States from now on, ladies and gentlemen.